Hey everyone, so I thought I'd better do a prom kind of prom ball formal occasion makeup tutorial for you guys because I know that somewhere in the world people are heading into prom season because I get a lot of requests to do a prom look. So I'm just going to do kind of like a cut crease formal pretty elegant look today. <laughs> so of course you want to start off with a primer because you want your makeup to go on as flawless and last as long as possible. So, I'm going to start with my Dream Lumi Base, or Lumi Magic Base, whatever you want to call it, by L'Oreal. A quick tip, if you want your makeup to last all night long, without any touch-ups or anything like that, you can take a finishing spray, and this is the Scandinavia um, Makeup Moisture Lock Finishing Spray. Um, I have to spray mine upside down because my little pump's broken, but you can put this on before and after your makeup just to make sure that it lasts for ages. When I was doing freelance ball makeup last year, I always did that. I always sprayed it on before and I sprayed it on after and it just helped their makeup stay flawless all night. Okay, so now I'm going to put on my base. I'm using my EXO Beauty flat top brush. I'm just going to buff that all over my face. Okay, so now you can see my skin's got a really pretty glow to it. This is one of my favourite all-time primers. I absolutely am in love with that one. Um, then you want to take your foundation and I recommend using something with a low SPF. If you don't know why it's because SPF bounces back the flash of a camera so whenever you take photos your face is going to go like three shades lighter than your body. So I'm going to be mixing my Naked Skin Foundation by Urban Decay with my Revlon Colorstay Makeup. This does have SPF but it's only SPF 6 so it's not too bad. Now I'm using Revlon Colorstay especially because it's got really really good coverage and for a special occasion, I always like to look as flawless as possible. To get maximum coverage, I am bouncing the makeup. Instead of like blending it like that, I'm bouncing it and that'll give you the best finish in the highest coverage possible. You can also work a little bit more over areas which you want a bit more coverage. Like go over once and then just go back over like I have a bit of redness so I'm just going to pat it there. Um, don't go too overboard because you don't want it to cake up. Just make sure they're really thin layers. I don't know if you can notice, but um, my under eye circles are really, really, really like purply toned at the moment. And I don't know why. I'm thinking it's because I'm on my girl time of the month and maybe my eyes are just like lacking the iron, like my blood is just, just... I don't know. So what I'm going to do is take a salmon toned concealer and I've got this one here which is one of my favourites at the moment by Gadi. And it is in the shade 2 Rosy Beige. It's really, really pink toned, so it really helps to brighten my under eye area. I don't like using yellow because it makes my under eyes go really, 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 like, muddy looking. This just brightens. So I'm using this instead of one of my, like, highlighting pens under my eyes today. Because I want that little bit more coverage. I find this concealer really moisturizing. I'm really enjoying it. I found all this Giddy stuff on NZ sale one time for a real discounted, so I just bought a bunch to try. And I got some more recently because I wanted to give some in a swap. Oh, I hope she doesn't watch this. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say any more anymore. You'll see the swap soon. It feels really luxurious though, like, real nice. So now you can see my skin's got that dewy finish because of that primer we put on, so we don't want to mattify our skin. So I'm not using a matte powder. I'm going to use this Be My Skin Powder by um, Leah Wally and it looks like this. Cute packaging. I'm using a big kabuki brush and I'm just going to pat this on top of my skin and this one shows a bit of that dewy finish underneath but it sets your makeup really well so it's going to last all night long. I also have a photogenic makeup tutorial which I'm going to link down below um, which will help you out for prom as well. It's got some really good tips in there to help you know, just help you out. So I wanted to make this look very different from that one because that other video I did, the photogenic one, could be a prom tutorial as well, as could any of my tutorials. So I'm just doing something a little bit different and really elegant and pretty today. Obviously not everyone, like the hard thing about doing makeup tutorials for like prom and stuff, like not everyone's going to like the exact same look and like not everyone would like that. They'd like something more dramatic or more subtle or more colourful or more neutral. Like there's all these different factors so yeah, I'm just doing something different that I think is suitable, but you could take your own take on it. You could use different colours, or you could use like a different star, you could do different eyeliner, you could do, use like different false eyelashes. It's really up to you. Um, 
my advice speaking from experience practice your makeup tons before prom so like every single night before you go to bed do like your full face of makeup practice it practice your eyeshadow and then wash it off before bed and go to sleep next day next night do the same thing and just make sure you've mastered your look so when it comes to prom day you're not stressing and you do it perfectly you know how to put on false eyelashes you know how to do your mascara and eyeliner you know exactly what's going on in your face i'm gonna go in with painterly paint pot all over my lid you can use any base you'd like. I'm just using this one because it's skin toned coloured. So I can put any colour on top. I'm using my e.l.f. eyebrow kit today because I want quite defined brows. Um, I've really been loving that brow bar to go thing. Um, I've been using it a lot lately because it's a bit more natural for every day. But this one, I find you get a sharper brow. So I'm using this. So the first colour I'm going to take is blank type and it is this colour just here. It's just like a matte kind of like, I don't know, skin tone colour I suppose. I'm going to put this all over the lid. And then I'm going to take Shroom which is like a shimmery skin tone colour, that one there. I'm just going to put this on the centre of the lid. Next I'm taking this EXO Beauty eyeliner brush and I'm going to go in with Copper Plate which is that colour right there. I'm going to draw a line and this is going to be a cut crease look so I'm just going to have to get you to watch me because I can't really explain how to do it so just watch. And then I'm going to take a really small shader brush and I'm just going to bring that colour up a little bit. Like, blend it up. Now you could do this with any colour, like you could do it with a really deep purple, a really deep blue, a really deep green like anything and it would match like your dress like if you're wearing that kind of colour dress that is. I'm just taking a clean blending brush and just blending that out even more. This is a clean 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 one so you're just going to get that really nice gradient effect with this. Okay so now you can see that I've got that cut crease look. I'm going to add a bit of black. So I'm just going to go in with a little pencil brush and I'm just going to add the tiniest little bit of carbon by MAC. You can use any black that you have. I'm just using it because it's right in front of me. And then just trace that line again. Don't bring it onto the lid, just keep it above the crease. 